Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our unboxing and first impressions of the Destech Conductive Wireless Charging Case and Mount for the iPhone 6 and 6S. What's interesting is that this device was campaigned for on Indiegogo a few months back, but instead of being for the iPhone 7, it's uh, for the iPhone 6. So they're coming out with the latest generation case soon, but I guess for their prototype, they have still the uh, previous generation iPhone. So this is a wireless charging case of sorts. Now it's not really using inductive charging. It's using, you can see these contact pins, but they align magnetically onto the back of this proprietary case and claim to really quickly charge up your phone. In fact, it claims to rival the Qualcomm quick charge technology in terms of really rapidly charging up your device in the car um, so that you can pop it in and then you're ready to go once you reach your destination. Hopefully it's a bumper case made out of silicon and rubber and and you can see the kit also includes a few other accessories. There are some additional accessories that are going to be made in the future that you can buy separately as well. A QR code you can scan on the back to learn a bit more information. And some of these accessories include an air vent that you can attach the car charger to, and also a desktop stand that it can be clipped onto so that you can use this charging in the office or at the home, and then also use it as a stand for watching videos or media content with the iPhone. So in here, there's just access to the car charger, micro USB cable, Cable, the mount and the case. So the stand part is not included here, but hopefully that's going to be in a retail version of this uh, coming up soon. So if we open up the packaging, we have just a case on the inside, just one color at the moment, this uh, white and black kind of finish. We'll take a closer look in a second. There is a quick start guide that tells you how to set it up and use it, and another QR code that you can scan. We have the charger part, which is attached to the cable already by means of a USB 2.0, so it doesn't look like this part is detachable or uses micro USB, which is kind of interesting. And then there is another accessory box, which we have access to full-sized micro USB cables and another micro USB cable. So you get two of these, one which is a little bit of a shorter length, one which is larger. Not really sure what that is for at the moment, but hopefully we'll find out. And there is the car charger, which is pretty standard. This features a regular USB-based port on the other side, has a 5 volt, 2.4 amp um, output, which will charge up even power-hungry devices like an iPad. So you can use one port to charge the phone with its uh, proprietary charger plugged in, and then a second port can be plugged into a GPS or for charging another device like a tablet. There is an LED light ring which will illuminate once it's plugged into power and charging, and it's uh, fairly compact. So maybe these cables are just as a bonus accessory, it seems like, since this one is already attached, and the case itself uh, the case itself does have a micro USB port, so you can charge it two ways, either using wires, maybe at home or in the office, or using the wireless component, which is in the center. So I guess that's what this part is for. Um, the case itself does not have an integrated battery, so it doesn't work as a battery case. Um, it only is a charger that adds very minimal bulk to the phone. So peeling this off, we see that there is a very glossy plastic polycarbonate build. It doesn't really seem to creak or cringe. And I should mention that the uh, estimated retail cost will be around 40 bucks once production finishes. So it's an average in terms of the price point for a proprietary design. And this is kind of an interesting look just because you can see the contact pins create this uh, circular target-like shape. And that's because you can see the three dots which are aligned here. I suppose that one is probably for the plus one for the minus, so that no matter what orientation you're in, you can rotate it 360 degrees, it will always be aligned properly and continue charging your phone. The top and the bottom here are made out of rubber, so they're very flexible, and if you drop this case, it should absorb the shock. And on the inside, you can see the chin, which is for the lightning connector of the iPhone, and then you have access to that uh, micro USB port if you want to charge it using that. There's also extension uh, ports for the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and also the speaker. There's uh, some cutouts for the volume controls, which are pretty tactile. And there's also a lock key and a power key. Finally, the back just has that camera grill, which is also kind of protected so that it doesn't scratch any part of the, uh, the phone. All right, so if I pop this onto the back of the case uh, now as a quick test, you can see that the charging begins uh, almost automatically, and indeed it is pretty fast as far as charging goes. Um, after leaving this plugged in uh, previously, I charge it up in around 
um, an hour. So that is extremely speedy and I got a pretty good charge just by leaving it there without touching it. And again, it works well both in the home as well as uh, in the car. So how the car, the event part works is there's a little latch that you tap on and that opens up this grip and then you can attach it onto a plastic mount in the car. And then the device here, the charger part, has a pivot hinge, so you can actually rotate it 360 degrees on its own, as well as change the orientation. So if you leave it in the car and then you want to use your iPhone for navigation, you can adjust the screen pretty easily. And the case itself stays properly uh, attached using magnets very firmly, so no complaints there. So quite a bit of adjustments that you can make using this case as well. So from our brief hands-on impressions, it seems to work pretty well. I wouldn't say that it's as high-tech as I thought it was going to be by the, the sound of it. It uh, is using just contact pens essentially to charge, and it claims to be high speed, which uh, seems to be pretty accurate. Uh, the case itself seems reasonably well made. Uh, we'll have to find out later on, you know, with the iPhone 7 variant, you know, whether performance still holds up. But for now, you can only get this for the iPhone 6 and 6S, and you can check out some earlier early links below, which I'll pop into the description box. But that's been our hands-on first impressions and a quick look here at OS Reviews. This has been the Destech Conductive Wireless Charging Case for the iPhone 6 and 6S.